I'm fine. Okay. Uh, the way that most people know that you become diabetic is through uh, having too much sugar, refined carbohydrates, being overweight and everything. But that's not always the case. Uh, Danny is an example of um, not, being, not being overweight and still having diabetes. Then um, Martha is, an, is another one, uh, not being overweight, but hers came from a different uh, reason. And um, so why don't you talk, before you even met me, uh, why don't we talk about uh, kind of like what your lifestyle was, uh, what you were doing. Uh, I know that you were, I don't want to overstep my boundaries with um, personal information. So I'll just let you kind of take it from here <laughs> and uh, just divulge whatever you feel um, comfortable with. Okay. Well, in the last 10 years, I was going through divorce. Uh, I had been in, in divorce uh, court for 10 years and that was already, you know, like uh, totally chaotic and stressful. But at that time also, my son was uh, diagnosed as schizophrenic and I was going through um, emotional challenges with him. And he was going through a lot of changes, uh, challenges, not changes, but challenges with the medications and of course, I was taking it all in because I was the one that was helping with anxiety, with his anxiety, and I was having anxiety attacks also. Um, and my sugar was up to almost three hundred. And but sorry, can I interrupt you real quick? Did sure. you even know at this point were you diagnosed? Uh, is diabetic? Uh huh. Yes, I have been diabetic since the two thousand. Okay, let, let's go backtrack to before 2000. Um, what was happening before you were um, before you were diagnosed? Did the doctor tell you you were pre-diabetic? Did he say anything about your sugar levels um, or uh, did? Well, I was feeling kind of dizzy. I had gone to the doctor and I had explained it to her. And she says, well, I think your, your sugar or glucose is high, but let's try to see if with diet, uh, change your diet, uh, start eating more of healthier, that should change quite a bit. Um, and you should see something, some difference within a month or so. Within a month or so, I went back to her and I said, no, there's no change. I still feel dizzy. I'm still going through a lot of different changes where I'm getting up in the morning, I'm dizzy and losing my balance. And she says, okay, well, let's give you some medication. So from one month to another, I started a medication. When she told me that I was that it would take ten years for me to even go on medication, and of course it didn't happen that way. So I've been taking medication since um, since December twenty uh, thousand. So you so she never even tested you for diabetes or pre diabetes before she just put you on the medications. Uh, she did. She did. They had a. Um, I had a glucose count and um, they did the, um, that um, serum, the, the serum before you eat. Is that, is that what I'm saying? Uh, do you remember if it was a glucose drink? Is that what they gave you? It was like a 75 ounce? Like a, some orange uh, drink, that, like really sweet. That's okay. So that's what it's, a, Standard is 75 grams of pure glucose. So what they were testing. So they, did they test you several times during a short period of time or did they just take one blood, blood draw from you? One, one time. Huh, okay. All right. And at that point, they diagnosed you as being a, a diabetic at that point? Yes. Okay. And so uh, I've always had a quite a stressful lifestyle, so. That I have to say, it's it hasn't really. I I had four kids and and they were all my responsibility, all my by myself. So that was stressful, and I had to um, transport them back and forth. And each was a different timing, and so it was just. Uh, I guess I had to do a lot with it too. That I became stressed out and. And I couldn't cope with it for a while. Okay. Um, when they said that you needed to change your diet, did they give you any recommendations or did they say, um, did they give you a, 
a low fat diet plan? Yes, they, yes, they did. And most of the time, they she told me just you know limit yourself on what you're really eating now. Uh, kind of cut down a little bit more on, on on everything, and and it's more mostly vegetables that you have to eat. Cut down on the sweets. Uh, once in a while, you can have something, but not 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 all the time. That's about what she told me. Okay. And they show me a film a films on it. That that was about it. Okay. So, do you remember what your uh, what your glucose levels were back then when you were first diagnosed? No, Chris, I don't remember. Okay. All right, but the. Um, I assume that they steadily increased because the you you got more medications throughout the years, correct? Correct, correct. Okay. And I, after a while, instead of uh, I've never felt that I was uh, that I had high blood pressure, but I also suffer from that. Um, matter of fact, I think that this I heard one of the fellas at work say that his uh, blood pressure was high. And then I, we had a, one of those uh, testing machines at work. So I went and I got myself tested and my, you know, with the readings that they say in the high blood pressure machine, it said that I did have high blood pressure. And so I went back to my doctor and I told her about it. And she says, yes, you do have high blood pressure. And she gave me pills. And I've been on pills ever since, I guess around the same time that I was uh, pronounced diabetic. Okay. Did you have any adverse effects um, like um, going into like um, dizziness from your blood sugars being too high or being too low while you're taking the medications throughout the years? Uh, yes, I have. This is the other problem that I could never tell because I also suffer from vertigo. And, okay. and from one thing or another, I could never tell. So if okay. it was patient or the, you know, the illness of being having vertigo. Okay. What was, uh, do you remember what your highest glucose level, level has ever been? About 280. Okay, let's fast track to when you and I first met two years ago. At what point were you, how many medications were you on? What, you, what were you on and what was your average um, blood glucose level? I was going around 280 when I met you. Um, and I was having one, two, about four medications just for the glucose plus the blood pressure pills and- uh, uh, Do you remember what, uh, what the medications were for diabetes only? Glyparide, uh, Genatua, uh, Trigenta, um, Metformin, Metformin and Trigenta are combined. So that was the Genatua. Um, the glyparide, the, and then I had another one for, um, um, for cholesterol. Okay. How many units of insulin were you taking when you and I first met? Uh, he told me 20 units. Okay. Of um, fast acting, slow acting? Uh, uh, fast acting. Okay. So right. Um, right now at this point, um, I'm at a my average would be like 160, 170 for most days that I'm after eating. And then I come down to like 79, 80 now. So, okay. and, and I'm not only on the uh, insulin 10, uh, instead of you told me 10 units, I'm doing nine units now. And uh, it's doing it. I'm doing quite well with the nine units. And I'm only taking the metformin for for the diabetes, and that's it. Okay. How many uh, milligrams of uh, uh, metformin were you on before when I first met you? Was it a thousand? Yes, uh, two thousand. 
2000. And I where- I didn't hear the question. Where are you now? How many, how many milligrams are you taking? Um, I'm still taking um, 1,000 in the morning and 500 at night. So you bumped it down a little bit for at nighttime. Okay. And the reason why you did the nighttime, were you having uh, low blood sugar levels the next morning? Well, because I was having the lower glucose in the morning at 79, I thought, okay, well, bring it down, uh, bring it down the metformin. That kind of evens out with the insulin. So is okay. that, does that work okay? I mean, yeah, this the number one thing is I want to get you, uh, I want to get everybody off insulin as quickly as possible. Metformin is the least of my worries. Uh, metformin, what it does is um, your liver produces glucose from uh, when you're stressed. So Martha basically got her from what I understand with her uh, throughout the discussions that she and I have had throughout the two years is that she uh, became diabetic because of stress. Okay. So a lot of people th don't think that stress as much that, um, I heard some of my clients say that they thrive on stress. They need stress to keep them going. And I'm thinking that's the worst thing you can do. Uh, the stress, what it does, it releases um, fat molecules from your fat cells for energy. Part of that fat is a glycerol that turns into glucose in your liver, shoots it out. So what metformin does is it stops your liver from producing so much glucose. Okay, so it's actually a good thing. It's a double-edged sword. I mean, I'd rather you not be on anything, but metformin is the least of my worries. The insulin is the, the one I want to work on and trying to get you off of. Okay. okay. But you're off, you're down 50%. So that's a good thing. A little bit over 50%. Uh, we keep working on that and keep working with the insulin, uh, uh, trying to uh, figure out how we can lower that down to eight units you know, for your next step. Okay, and then we'll go down gradually. But uh, yeah, you, you've made tremendous uh, leaps and bounds of, of progress there. Your uh, medications have come down. You seem a lot happier. You seem like you have more energy. Uh, you're understanding, you look forward to workouts. I don't know why, but you do. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're great. Uh, they're going to extend my life and this is what I'm working for, Chris. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. Um, there was someone I was going to ask. Forget what it was. Hmm. I lost track. Sorry. <laughs> so the, the, the main thing is that you're dealing with your stress. That's the, the culprit, it seems like, with you. Oh, yeah. How much weight have you lost since um, you and I have been together? Uh, about 25 pounds, Chris. Okay. So the thing with, uh, with diabetes, it's a fatty infiltration disease, which means that um, fat accumulates as we get older naturally because of different hormones, especially with women, um, starting to, uh, your estrogen levels. Estrogen, what it does is it's the female sex hormone that places fat in your breasts and your hips and your thighs in case you get pregnant so you can nourish the fetus. So that's what estrogen is for, for with, with women. And as you get older, that your childbearing years are behind you, so you no longer need all that estrogen. So because the estrogen was uh, taking the fat and putting it in those places instead of your stomach where all these um, chronic diseases come from, when that lessens, women after menopause, they start gaining all their weight in their stomach. Is that what happened with you as well? No, I, no, no. I, wa I wasn't ever big. Uh, I think it was more like my behind, more my, I had big arms. <laughs> and that was always because I was carrying even drywall, so. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is that you're muscular. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was, uh, I was, I was, I have to say that, yes, I was, okay. And I, I've always liked uh, to do construction. I love to do all those things that, that were challenging to me, okay. Carpentry, electricity, plumbing, you name it. I like to do all that stuff. So <laughs> I needed muscle. So that was my thing. 
<laughs> Lift the drywall. <laughs> So the, the thing that I was like gearing toward is that it doesn't take much. People think that they need to lose a lot of weight to be able to reverse your diabetes. You don't need to lose a lot of weight. You need to lose a lot of fat so we can get that fat out of your pancreas so we can clear it out and out of your liver so we can get these organs to start functioning properly. So losing 25 pounds, I mean, you're not a very big woman in the first place. When I first met you, you're, you're pretty solid. So tw 25 pounds is a lot of weight. That you lost, um, especially for your frame. So that's a that's a good thing. We want to get rid of the fat because that gets rid of the inflammation, which uh, gets rid of the ectopic fat as well. So cool. Well, I went down to from a size ten to a size six. So that that for me is a big uh, boost. Look, you're gonna be going out with the girls on a Saturday night soon here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah, I, like I said earlier, we haven't done these for a while, but I wanted to get kind of like um, everybody being able to kind of lead us through their journey of how it led up to the uh, disease and what they're doing since um, they learned that there's you didn't, that you don't have to be on the medications that you can reverse this disease. So uh, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. So does anybody have any questions?